to understand how to pass the SBO exam, it's very important Thursday to understand how the examining team sets the SBO exam questions based on the pre material. So firstly, the examining team members will certainly refer to the real-life cases similar to the pre company backgrounds, plus a bit of imagination, because the pre company is a fictitious company. Now, I would like to give you some evidence about it. Firstly, in June 2024 exam, the company is in the pet care industry called PBS Company. On the exam day, that the exhibit number one here is a transcript about the board meeting transcript between the CEO business development director and asking you the potential joint venture arrangement with the best for pet company. Now, this exhibit was really taken from the real life case between the Bunfield Pet Hospital and the Pet Smart in the US. And of course, our course has gone through that already. In March 2024, when we discussed about the 80 football club company, in the actual exam question, the task number two, which means the question two, ours can use to evaluate the pros and cons of a new stadium built by the football club. And of course, in our course, in our pre scene application pack, I've gone through the Totem Stadium at that particular moment in time. We also have covered that in our course. That's from the real life case. In December 2023, the case name was called NC Tech in the cloud service industry. In the actual exam question, the, the four layers of the IT security, including human and other layers, was tested. And this was taken not only from the SBO syllabus, but also from the real life case called Microsoft. It introduced very similar structure as the exhibit on the exam day. So this means that if I were to take you through to what ACCA has said of how to use the pre -scene. The aim of a pre of course, providing background information, not signal areas of the syllabus, but that does not necessarily mean that you can completely ignore the syllabus. You should use the pre case for each paragraph, try your best to revise the SBO syllabus, which I've been doing that to help numerous students pass this paper. Besides, ACCA continue to base the case study exam on an industry or the sector of the economy. So this means that you will need to fully understand from a practical point of view what sort of each of the paragraph implications on the exam that you need to be familiarizing yourself about that. At the same time, you will need to spend time becoming very familiar with the information. So what do you mean by very familiar? You need to be ready with regards to the operational information, the financial information and the KPIs implications of the case, the pre case. And of course, in September 2024, the pre case is called the Beagle Company. It's in the TNC industry. So this does not necessarily mean that you simply read through the pre scene and that's it. Because ACCA said you may do some research to better understand the terminologies. So this means that in our course, 
I would try my best to help you get into the management roles as soon as possible because I've done all this necessary research on your behalf. Because if ACCA expects students to undertake further research, of course, the precinct will not be released two weeks before the actual exam. So make sure that you're aware of this. Now, finally, ACCA said officially, avoid extensive additional research into the industry. But that does not necessarily mean that you don't do any research at all. Of course, you may do it, you may not do it, but unless you are happy with the terminologies, you are happy with the terminologies that not existed in the precinct, but closely related to the precinct. For example, in the last sitting that we've talked about in the active exam question, the greenwashing activities. Do you know that terminology? Have you covered that before? Of course, in December 2023, that we've talked about the four layers. Have you revised that small area in the syllabus? If this was not the case, it will be quite surprising for any students to come up with quality answers on the exam day to score the full marks, given the time pressure. Of course, avoid question tipping and spotting. I mean, this was said to the student, not to the tutor. Because from a student's point of view, when you study one particular ACCA paper, you may take up to three months, sometimes longer, five months, six months. So how can a student with limited amount of time studying this paper, having the abilities to tip questions to come up? I mean, if you tip the wrong area, of course, you will lose the opportunities to pass this paper in the upcoming exam. But that does not necessarily mean that tutor should not tip or spot any questions. Because we are experienced enough with my proven track record, as you can see, each and every time that the pre scene material released by the ACCA and I done lots of quality analysis in depth by taking you through to the real life cases, what may come up and what sort of areas that you need to pay attention to. Because trust me, when the examining team set exam questions, it's very unlikely that the examiner was simply based on their imaginations to write the exhibit. They need to make sure that the exam questions are practical. So to a certain extent, they will certainly refer to the real life cases and to map it with the syllabus. Of course, my top tip number two, avoid so-called top issues. Because my view is this, you are given the pre material, you should study that in depth. And to try to make sure not only you learn the theory knowledge from the syllabus, but it's a good time for you to relate them to the real life scenario and to update your mindset of how to run the multinational business. And of course, this is the aim of the ACCA SBO study. Avoid tipping questions on your own and leave these jobs to Global APC. And of course, we will take care of them for you and to help you pass the SBO exam as soon as possible. And of course, our pre scene application for September 2024 for the Beagle case in the TNC industry have been fully updated with my own written two mock exams covering most of the areas in the SBO syllabus. I'm sure that you will benefit from my teaching, my knowledge, and my experience as a marker at ICAS in another professional body and an examiner for financial management module in a university, an author for four accounting books. I've got my practical experience helping you pass the ACCA exams as soon as possible. I look forward to helping you soon. Bye-bye. APC, accounting for your future.